And what does the success of this summit mean for future events, for example, the Copenhagen Climate Change Summit in December? I think that at the end of last year, with the collapse of the Doha trade round, there was a real crisis of multilateralism. This uh, G20 process is in part a response to that. It's an assertion that uh, the world doesn't have such divergent interests that it can't come together. It's a determination to create a structure, in this case a relatively ad hoc structure, that can breathe new life and new confidence into the multilateral system. Now, the Copenhagen climate change talks in December, not just talks, but negotiations and hopefully discussion, are a real test of that multilateral system. It's a very, very complex set of negotiations. But I think that there's a clear pointer from the heads of government today in respect of the low-carbon recovery that they know that a sustainable recovery must be a low-carbon recovery, and that requires a successful Copenhagen talks and decisions in December.